thank you for your interest in the lunar herbal alchemy calendar and journal. I, I'm starting with a picture of this, the cover of this 140 plus page full color calendar and more than journal resource. It's a weekly calendar. I've got some questions from you guys. I wanted to start off and give you a preview. We go with every lunar cycle. There are 13 lunar cycles per year. And I'm going to start with the first one that you'll see in this calendar, the wolf moon. There's unique art per lunar cycle. There's a color backdrop that is unique to each lunar cycle. And it is a weekly calendar. So you'll see next that this is the first week that the calendar kicks off. It, we start actually on the 19th of December and go to December 25th for the wolf new moon. And every lunar cycle has a, a page that tells you about the historical meaning, about the alchemical meaning. It gives you a mantra. It also provides a information on an optimal grid and uh, crystal companions to use for the grid for this specific new moon. There's also information about any particular holidays, pagan holidays or goddesses, lesser known goddesses. As you go through the lunar cycle, I'll show you next. Here's the next week, the wolf waxing moon. And we have, our herbal ally per lunar cycle. We have a herbal tea ritual. I also have just excavated some lesser known information about different holidays. And you'll find in this calendar also some recipes and herbal recipes, herbal ritual recipes. Let's go on to the next lunation, which is the snow moon. So you can see this is a very different energetic theme. There's a unique piece of art that goes with the snow moon. And we're back to the same weekly calendar format, starting on Monday, going through Sunday. And this every, every lunar cycle has its own unique traditional meaning, alchemical meaning, crystal companion and grid. Also this one, we already have our herbal ally. And one of the recipes here I offer is how to make a pine infused oxymel. What an oxymel is, it's very helpful for the winter months. It's a honey vinegar recipe. Uh, that herbalists use to support winter months. And if we keep going through this calendar, where you see the, the same energetic theme is in the backdrop for the snow waxing moon. Here's your next week. And then we get to more about the herbal ally, pine. Also something that you might not know about a particular date during that week and a, a ritual that you can perform. So this is earth-based rituals, ancient pagan based rituals, but really a broader look at many, many, many different cultures, rituals around the lunar cycles. Fast forward all the way to the end of this lunar herbal alchemy calendar. This is, we're rounding about page 140 here. This is the cold moon cycle. This particular cycle is gonna take us to the end of 2023. So you see yet another weekly calendar offering. This is one page of the, of, of the book calendar and on the opposite page, you're getting the sense that there we have it, the traditional meaning, the alchemical meaning, the mantra, as well as a crystal grid and interaction and how to use the grid, what the grid might be used for. We keep going. There's another week of time where you get to put your daily life into this calendar, but doing so with understanding what are ancients thought about time? So this next week is dedicated to Yule and winter solstice. I talk about things that you can do during these holidays that our ancestors did to honor the moon, the sun, and the earth. So I hope that you're getting a sense. And at the end of every particular lunar cycle, you'll also see there's a place where you get to see some musings. There's a place for you to journal, to make notes, if you have any notes about the lunar cycle. Everything that all the proceeds from this particular offering are donated to the 501c3 organization, Seeding Reciprocity. I hope that you feel called to purchase one or share them with your friends. Thanks for watching. Bright blessings, tons of love.